after uh, our technological for forecasting process, you have studied a lot of things in terms in this regard of uh, product design, uh, of product development, how the product data management works, how the product development works, how the decision support system works, how the forecaster has been very much important. So all that which you have been studying. So now, so in, in detail, we are going to study about the uh, one topic which is called as product building and structures. Product building and structures. So, lot of things which uh, you know which comes into our mind which is called as a product building and structure or product development on product design there are the various concept of a product building and structures in terms of product building you people know lot of process which has been happened which has been generated in terms of if at all you have to go for any product building process or a product structuring process or it's a product design process or product development process product development process is been very important in term top in term of getting the new innovative product par for replacing you know, the old oldest product or for updating the oldest product so in this regard product building and structure has been very much important how how, how however we have seen about forecasting how the forecasting has been very much important in terms of product development like product building also is being very much important there are a lot of categories which has been coming in term of product building so what all that what all that product building and structures which helps that product product to convert that into and the initial basic product to the final beautiful product which is called as an the innovative product so in this product building and structures these are process finished items that are offered for sale that is their manufactured combination of materials and perhaps other products process that create items such as doors windows and light fittings see product in term of what is the definition what is the first definition which has been changing there is a huge huge meaning which product is nothing but even from small material if at all we are going to take as the rubber or pencil or pen or in some book or it's any machine or as any material or for fittings or as well or any anything there are thousands of devices where we people are going to tell that is as a product every product has a different scenario of mentioning that product the processing of that product is been different the building of that product is maybe different the structuring of that product is been different but the product name which is be given as in general where every product with different terms of product which can be processed into the beautiful product into the beautiful term which is called as a product with the different difficulties with the different process with the different manufacturing with the different method with the different system then finally which comes under which is called as the product building in the product structure if at all you you know you come to uh, uh, you know the, the building and structure a structure is nothing but which is called as a, a shape so where which is a development of a product after developing a responsive task which a derivative product which has a different set of configuration which can be easily changed which can be easily characterized into different manageable device and that is called as an the product building and structures so here there is a simple way to understand uh, in term of product building and structure which is nothing but this is a phenomenon of a different term of product manufactured or processed in a different ways by the combination of a different material by the responsive of a different characteristics which processed which manufactured which turns into a new innovative product and that will bring you a good product building and good the structure of the product building 
A product structure is used to manage changes, testing and problem resolution for complex products with a large number of interdependent parts and functions or representation of this way in which parts of the product fit together and interact organized in levels of detail based on the structures. See how this, uh, you know, in detail, if at all you have to know about a product structure where I have given the view of a product structure where you can uh, see one example where I have, uh, you know, represented, uh, which is uh, which, which which has a master structure. In the master structure where you have to define your product first. See, every everything, whenever you start your uh, uh, a product building so the first thing is you have to define your product properly so definition of the product has been very much important in turn you people have to go to the next very important part so that that in a product definition everything which comes everything everything which is nothing but in detail if at all you have to know about certain data of the product if at all you have to know certain you know specification of the product if at all you have to know certain material of the product if at all you know the view of the product if at all you know certain quantity certain qualitative certain sales search and purchasing any views any views which comes under the product definition so that's why where you can see uh, here master structure with the product definition where you have a different views which are which terms into service view which term into design view which terms into manufacturing view which term in into purchasing view which term into the sales view well this is what the very very important part of the product structure it is used to manage certain set of changes on any views of the product but you know it may be the testing it may be the resolution of a different set of problems it may be the you know problem the product complexities you know complexity or else in terms of interdependent the parts and functions see there is a things in a product it is not a single quantity or a single qualitative measures which has been you know adopted in a product structure there is a huge thing where you people have to know what has been the product structure is all about there's there will be a lot of changes which has been uh, you know to be taken into consideration in terms of a product structure oh, that 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 consideration should be in terms of a different changes that consideration should be in terms of a different testing that consideration in terms of a different resolution the consideration in terms of a different complex products where the product building uh, you know itself you know itself is a complexity where the complexity should be converted into a simple product building and then that with with that they'll be having a large functions and parts so that that representative will give the larger view of the product the product structure so this is what the one phenomenon which is called as the product structure is all about next in the you know in the product uh, uh, development i mean in the product of uh, building and structure so today today we are going to learn about like what has been the exactly which is called as virtual product development see now you people know like how the virtual develop virtual product development which has been uh, you know coming under coming around coming in and around very fast uh, I know in our uh, daily life where you people have, you know, virtual product development is a practice of developing a prototype in a completely digital 2D, 3D environment. So now, so in terms of a pro, you know, virtual product development, which is called as an, uh, shortly, which is called as an VPD, there is a practice, you know, you know, you know, it is nothing but which is called as a practice of, uh, uh, you know, developing, uh, developing and then uh, uh, prototyping the different set of products in the, uh, 2D and 3D environment and now you people know 2D, 3D, 4D, there are the different dimensional products which has been existence to have visuals, to have the virtual product of that to be converted into and the physical product. So this virtual product development is been very much important. So now you people have to know now even the the uh, you know the virtual product development directly which is called as an our 3d printer and 4d printer where straight away where we people have can print that 3d product straight away without that uh, you know virtual product development where we can see in terms of a digital environment in terms of a 2d and 3d environment 
2D and 3D environment. So, uh, uh, you, know, it, you know, it is nothing but the new innovations where, which has been existing in terms of a virtual product development. But one thing is where you have to remember in any type of a product development, like in a product structure where we can see there should be a lot of changes. There's a lot of parts. There is a lot of functions where, which is to be added, which is to be needed for a particular changes to do the proper conformity of the product development of the product building so that which can get the highest accuracy of product which will be converted from the virtual product to uh, the, you know the actual product development like as i know so very very important in a product which is nothing but there is a lot of concepts which is to be known whether it may be design whether it may be manufacturing whether it may be any type of phenomenon in a company we have to remember so that this this product building which is being straight away related to the virtual product development straight away which has been related to the virtual product development so that has been very much important in terms of virtual product development there are so many components see here we are going to mention around the three to four components but but the thing we have to remember there are so many components in terms of virtual product development in you know in uh, uh, in uh, this uh, 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 in this uh, newest innovation technologies what are the main important parts of a virtual product development or virtual product development and its components are virtual product design in a 3D shape, 2D shape or copy, virtual product simulation, drop test, crust test, etc. Virtual product staging, retail space planning, consumer research and behavior analysis, digital manufacturing, process planning, assembly, filling, virtualization, plant design. See here, here now you, you can understand it is not only uh, the digital 3D environment, it is an environment to know the simulation of a particular product it is nothing but the staging of a product in terms of a behavior analysis of a particular product where you know like uh, 3d softwares analysis softwares uh, you know there are so many softwares in terms of uh, where which gives exactly the virtual product development reality so that uh, you know that every that everything which has been very much important to know the virtual uh, you know development because uh, once if you uh, get the exact picture in terms of a virtual product development then automatically you will be knowing the the phenomenon the phenomenon of the uh, 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 the exact product so where which is being converted into a virtual uh, with an exact product development so this is what which has been very much important to be in, uh, known as so that's what that's what the four uh, uh, important product design product simulation product staging different types of staging and then digital manufacturing so digital manufacturing in terms of process planning in terms of assembly in terms of plant design in terms of uh, uh, you know, filling the virtualization. So this is what the basic concept of virtual product development. So this virtual product development, which has been very important, the concept of the very important concept of this, the product building. So here you can uh, just uh, just see the uh, you know the picture of that virtual prototyping like how how uh, this virtual prototyping which happens where you can see the 3D system virtual model of product the CAM system virtual ENSI simulation virtual inspection which has a measurement and control VR technology where you you know what exactly in the VR technology which is a called as in 3D visualization and then interaction with that TT visualization, virtual manufacturing, virtual model of process. So, you know, virtual manufacturing has been very much important in terms of product, uh, you know, management, reverse engineering, digital point cloud data, rapid prototyping, physical model of product and rapid tooling. So all this, all this are, which has been related to virtual prototyping, every concept of 3D or CAM system or CAM system inspection, manufacturing, or reverse engineering, prototyping, rapid tooling on VR technology, and everything, everything in terms of which is being framed uh, for the collaborative work, which turns me into, uh, which can convert it into uh, the product process and uh, uh, development, which has been very much important to, uh, uh, you know, use that virtual prototyping. Where in in the you know in this uh, simulation today's norms of automotive product development where see there is a lot of uh, norms uh, you know which which you know which can be considered in terms of uh, product development where you can see concept and design where 
parametric design optimization requires simulation requires virtual prototype design analysis because because you have to design whenever you have to simulate whenever you have to do certain type of a test whenever you go for an automobile vehicle it is not very much important because especially if you come to an automobile sector or especially if you go to an aerospace sector especially if you come to an electronic uh, sector where highly sensitive uh i know the products highly sensitive products which to be highly taken care in terms of product building uh in in you know in all this because there should be not so uh, you know insensitive matters which should happen in terms of a product thing where which can have the changes later so that way this concept and design of physical prototype production so once it is been done with every product building with the virtual product development then automatically a beautiful automotive vehicle which given or which will be driven or which will be driven in terms of a product development so that's what this uh, you know exact picture which is in terms of that so importance of virtual product development there is a, you know well, i know explaining about an importance of virtual product development there is a huge one there is a huge product development uh, you know virtual product development uh, importance are there it is a, you know it is not only uh, you know one single concept of virtual product development you know there are huge so here so here the content of virtual product product development of constant effort in a direction to overcome the limitation of conventional testing procedures see remember the you know in a conventional testing procedures if at all you have to do a virtual product development with a different testers or with different prototype or different analysis or different types of manufacturing so before there was uh, there are so many things we you know in terms of conventional testing procedures in a conventional testing procedure you know procedures this virtual product development will seize into the will see the results of the constant efforts constant efforts in terms to avoid the disadvantages or to avoid the limitations whatever which has been happening in terms of you know in terms of virtual product development so that is uh, been uh, very much important in terms of virtual product development but this allow to a designer to take a important but this vpd will be allowing to take the important design decisions at an early stages to test the results to control over the cost of so that is a uh, you know this this is one been the very very highlighting word so where this testing results will have the control over the cost because everything in uh, you know you know uh, like just now i have told there is a lot of limitations in terms of um, virtual product development there the testing results the testing results will giving you the control over the cost because this gives you in terms because whenever we go for a virtual product development automatically there will be a lot of limitations which will be avoided avoided by replacing that uh, conventional you know conventional process into and a virtual product development so this will overcome the cost and this can be a strategy for coordinating the new technology process and people to enhance the established product development process because this is nothing but a see everything is nothing but a one type of a strategy i have told the people are very smart when the people are very smart you have to be very strategic in doing certain type of thing to reach the smartest people if at all you don't do that then the smarter the, the people who is called as the smartest people doesn't accept if at all you don't be a good strategic man or you don't be a good smartest man than that people so that's why the strategic of coordinating technology process will people to enhance the establishing product development process so that's been very much important this will this is a gradual process that efficiency build a uh, build up a product virtually so this is a gradual process that efficiently built up a product virtually you know you know efficiently building is nothing but there is a lot of meaning which come in you know which comes into efficient which we you know which can be accuracy which can be uh, you know uh, uh, efficiency where we call it as on all that in terms if for all we people are going to the virtual product development so all this will come into mind so which virtual product development will have lot of benefits any changes in terms of design can be reflected in terms of physical properties chain or distribution channel or any customer view or you know any physical manufacturing or product goes with that 
see uh, once 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 why why uh, uh, you know uh, a very very important part in terms of a virtual product development which is nothing but so there is a lot of changes which can occur there is a lot of uh, similarities which can occur there is a lot of uh, coordination which can occur in terms of virtual product development and that will be straight away which uh, you know straight away can be changed in terms of uh, ultimately the customer view where uh, you know when the physical manufacturing which goes automatically so this we take into very important part to in terms of changes so this is what a very important part of the virtual so next next uh you know which is called as a 3d cad and cam in the virtual product development so now you know there is a lot of uh, uh, software there is a lot of uh, analysis software there is a development there is a lot of improvement in some you know you know in terms of uh, uh, you know virtual product development so here in the, in terms of that 3d cam will help you if at all you people have uh, you know 3d cad uh, you know environment in that so designing a new product involves a lot of complex words and theories it's not simple as just uh, you know in uh, uh, envisaging a product design and putting a parts together in fact product design involves everything from brainstorming design the product uh, aesthetically determining the best materials to use its styles and magnetical engineering design see designing a product it's been very very complex it's been a lot of things which is to be analyzed and which is to be discussed in terms of uh, you know cad and cam development so here so this is to be very much understood where so how this this can be aesthetically determining the mechanical engineering design in terms of going to that you have a brainstorming with that design designing of a product and everything will convert into a complex process into a single process so that's why so whenever you people go to and the environment which is called as 3d and cam so you people have to see everything which will be involving in the product design in terms of brainstorming in terms of designing product in terms of you know different mechanical engineering design so this cat has drastically changed the world of product design let's explore the ins and outs of product design and how cat contributes this process see this cat contributing of a cat process has been various see bar studying this uh, cat which which has been changed the world itself in terms of virtual development so how this will change uh, no drastically with a new invention and technology where we people are, you know are going to see that CAD design program streamline the entire process. They enable collaboration, reduce the needs of physical prototype along with any having many more advantages. So this, the streamline, you know, you know, especially uh, the product of building, which is nothing but which has been the streamlining the entire process. Whenever you people are going to streamline the, you know, in terms of a physical prototype, people have to know that. So the entire collaboration of that two D and three D environment will have to contribute to this process to have the physical prototype so then then you are getting the lot of advantages in terms of replacing the conventional process or the conventional environment whatever which has been uh, you know having uh, the beauty of virtual product development so this is what uh, 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 you know one thing where you can see the clarification of a problem with the conceptual design See, there is a you know two things where you people have to see that customer requirement and manufacturing. So this is what the you know just uh, the trees the trees of the virtual product development where how this will uh, where you people see the customer requirement, machine process, mechanical process, process model, function model, organ model. So this is what the three and then uh, you know this is what the two process model and function model when it comes to manufacturing constraints the organ model and the part structure see here in the process model and the function model will be converted here into and the organ model part structure where that will have the virtual product development which has a control system model fbs mechanical you know design model 3d cad model fem model with the verified control system setup, dynamic virtual reality, 2D trap extraction, rapid prototype model, virtual optimum structure. So this is where where so this this is a requirement. So this is what which I have told. This is called customer requirement, which is nothing but the smartness of customer manufacturing consent, which is nothing but which is the strategy of the people in a company. So all this strategy should reach to the 
smartness of a customer so then when all this has been satisfied then automatically this smart this this customer will accept the product thank you